What's going on guys? I am out here in front of a coffee bar here in South Dallas. Uh, we're supposed to be in a rally race or a rally type of thing today. It's the rally to the state fair. Um, you'll probably have already seen some state fair videos and if you follow us on Instagram, you've probably already seen the rally stuff. But uh, the point of this video is checking out our chariot for the rally, which is the 2019 Nissan Kicks. So the Kicks is an all new CUV for Nissan. It's really cool, really quirky. Let's talk about some of the trim levels, check out the exterior. I gotta get in the thing because I'm late and need to hit the next checkpoint for this rally. Let's go. So I think the exterior styling is pretty cool, especially for the market that they're going after. I really like the dual uh, tone paint with the blue on the bottom and the white roof. A little bit different, a little bit unique, but really still a fun style. Under the hood is a 1.6 liter engine matched up to a CVT transmission. Now, obviously that doesn't sound like much, but the kicks can be pretty fun to drive. The rear cargo space is ample in this vehicle. You do get a lot of room back here. Plenty to pack it full of camping gear or groceries or whatever the needs may be. So this rally thing, great idea sucks that I was a little bit late to the start but doing fine and the next checkpoint is a little Ford presentation which is gonna be cool and again this is for getting ready for the State Fair of Texas really excited about tomorrow inside the kicks you get some pretty nice materials this is the SR trim you get these leather seats with this orange contrast stitching pretty cool looking you get a seven inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto built in. You get a six speaker audio system, but in this trim level we have the optional eight speaker Bose system and it sounds really good. Lots of bass, if that's what you're into. And to get that premium package with those Bose speakers, heated seats and a few other things, it's a thousand dollar upgrade. Decent rear seats, nice materials, no real amenities back here for the rear passengers. But overall, decent enough for smaller kids or adults behind the passenger seat. You can definitely tell this was built to be a car for fun. And in this rally, we've been up and down, back and forth, city streets, more country streets, and the Kicks has been handling itself just fine. So I've seen a lot of different driver information displays in my time of reviewing cars, anywhere from full screen to small screen to little screens in the middle of your of your analog tax. Uh, this is a new one, it's a pretty cool setup, and you can definitely change your um, RPMs to being eco settings and different things like that. Again, it's a really neat setup. Being a young, hip car, you might assume this has a lot of connectivity and things like that, and it does. You also get three USB ports, but they're just the standard USB ports, not the new USB type C ports, but there are three of them. There's one down here in the console, which is what you would hook your um, phone up to for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and there's two back here, which I assume could be for back passengers or even your passenger. Driving wise, this is a pretty nice driving vehicle. The steering feel is really nice. Seating is comfortable. Even on this rally, it's been pretty nice. You do get decent pickup from that 1.6 liter four cylinder engine. It's not phenomenal, but it's decent. It's probably hurt more by the CVT than the power of the engine itself. And day-to-day -day driving, you don't even notice that CVT. It's just really when you wanna put your foot down and get that power to the ground, that the CVT is just slower than a normal transmission. 
Now this is a smaller CUV and as such the interior is a bit cramped. I'm a big guy, I'm 6'1", but it is noticeably cramped especially compared to some of its competition. And speaking of competition, let's get into what this really competes with. So competition wise, you could be looking at something like the Kia Soul. You could be looking at the Honda HRV, a Mini Cooper, the Hyundai Kona. There are a lot of vehicles in this market now. One of my favorite is that Hyundai Kona. We also have a review coming up of the Kia Soul. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you're interested in checking those out. But I was really interested in driving this Kicks in comparison to something like the Hyundai Kona, which I'm really a big fan of. Um, we also recently drove the uh, new Mazda CX-30, which is a really great vehicle. So for me, you would really have to really like the exterior design um, and maybe the Nissan nameplate. Um, because what you get in tech and interior and driving and handling um, just doesn't stack up to what's out on the market now. With that, I know this video has come out really late. I did film this right before the State Fair. Uh, it is months away from the State Fair now, um, so I did get this one out late. Apologize about that. I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. Let's get into the outro. All right, guys, well, that was a lot of driving, a little unconventional of a review, had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the all new Nissan Kicks. And as always, thanks for watching.